Hey, this is Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com. We are here at the Chicago Theater with Mark Tremonti checking out the rig that you're using uh, for the Creed Tour. And you've got your PRSs over here. You want to tell us a little bit about the guitars that you're taking on the road? Uh, they're all my signature model single cut. Um, they're all pretty similar. There's, uh, there's stop tail versions and then there's the, uh, you know, the, the ones with the bar on it. Um, this, is, uh, this is one of my favorites here. This is a one piece top that I got. Um, I think about three years ago, but I always thought that was a, a real pretty one. My favorite guitar um, of all time is my Charcoal Burst single cut. Um, this was the second PRS um, single cut that they ever made with a bar on it. Um, it's just my go-to number one guitar. I got Dime sticker on there for, you know, for his memory, but uh, yeah, it's my number one. So with your signature guitars, are you using these basically stock, or they have some upgrades, modifications? They're stock. They're stock. Actually, once I, uh, a fan came to a show with, with this guitar here, and, uh, and he wanted me to sign it. And I said, well, we, I love your guitar, so I gave him one of mine. <laughs> so this is actually a fan's guitar that I use now that I love. I like it because it doesn't have any binding on it. So No, you, you get them off the shelves, they're just as nice as any of mine. And uh, what string gauges are you using? I use, um, depending on how low the song's tuned, um, most of the, the strings are uh, from sets of uh, 11s on the E, A, and D string, and then 10s on the G, B, and E. So uh, just, just if I'm playing for hours and hours, I'm not killing myself on 11s. But uh, for some of the lower tuned stuff, these, these guys are tuned really low. Um, I got all the gauges printed on the back here, oh, nice. so you can kind of see where I'm at on these. What are some What are some of the tunings that you're using then? Um, I use drop drop B, but it's different than normal guys. This is like the, the bottom string is tuned to B, then then you would have an A, you know. So everything's tuned standard except for the low string on on this drop B. Then I use open G tuning, open D5 tuning, of course standard tuning, and then everything from whole step and a half down to standard. Got a little cheat sheet there? This is for Ernie. This is his, uh, this is his tuning checklist. Um, you know, because we go through quite a lot. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, and what brand strings are you using? Diodarios. What do you use uh, for picks? I use uh, Dunlops, one millimeter nylons. And you've got a whole crazy amp set up over here. You want to tell us how this is all set up? Yeah, it's uh, when I'm playing rhythm guitar, I'm playing through this down uh, down the middle for you know stack, and then uh, this is a Voodoo V Rock. It's an amp I had never heard of until about eight months ago that I love. That's going through the outside exterior cabinets. Um, when I switch to lead, uh, it switches the outside cabinets through a pedal called a headbone, which is which is this right here. Um, it switches the load on the head so you can share a head on on, on the same cabinets, and uh, so. This head switches over to the Bluto tone, which is just one of the baddest amps of all time. This is, uh, um, you know, this this kind of thing I had to wait about a year and a half for on a waiting list, and I just got it this week, so it's it's replaced uh, my last lead amp. Um, and when I go to clean, it switches over to the Fender Twins. They're 65 twin reissues, um, and then I run the TC Electronic G Force with a little delay and verb for. Uh, some ambience. So this is the Handwire TS-808. This is my uh, signature phaser from T-Rex that I love. Um, also in the loop of the Bluto tone for lead is the T-Rex replica for delay. All this stuff is my monitor rig. Um, you know, I got tired of dealing with guys telling them what I wanted to hear instead of just downing it myself. So this is just my little mixing board for my rig. This is the power amp for it. Uh, this sets the delay between the front line and the back line so there's no phase cancellation. Um, this is one of my most recent things as well. Um, the fractal, I don't, I don't get any of the fractal on stage, but out front they say it sounds really nice and thickens up the, uh, just gives another texture to the lead tone, so I've, I've added that. Um, this here is a loopulator. This, this goes along with the Bluto tone, so there's, um, uh, it, it's, it's just something you need. If you want to put a loop, any, any effects on this guitar, and, and I'm sorry, on this amp and the loop, you have to use this. I use the uh, ground control. Um, I love the Univibe, the Dunlop Univibe, and this is my Morley Signature Wah, uh, and the Pog Micropog, I'm sorry, the um, Electro Harmonics Micropog.
And uh, what are you using the Univibe and the Micropog on? I use the Univibe just uh, whenever I feel like I just want to um, have a little vibey section of a song. You know, the uh, this is just just for fun if I'm if I'm doing a lead or just uh, I mainly used it on the last Alter Bridge tour when we were doing me and Miles would do these guitar. Um, you know, mock battles, and we'd go back and forth, and we'd use those. But uh, no, we're really in in the set just for fun in between songs, or just on leads on end of songs. Sure. So you're switching all all of the amp switching that you referred to is done then here with the ground control. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, what kind of speakers do you have in those Mesa cabs? Those are all stock speakers. Those cabinets I've used for about um, probably about 12 or 13 years, so they're very broken in, very transparent. Love them. Do you have any? particular cables you're using to wire it all up? No, you know, um, I've done a lot of research on cables and a lot of people say copper's copper, it doesn't know the difference, you know, it's it all sounds pretty, you know, pretty close. So I think we use Planet Waves for a while. We might still be using them. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> not picky on the cables. Not picky on cables. So. Cool. Anything, any other kind of cool tricks or little things in the rig that you can think of or did we cover it all? I think we've covered it. Well, yeah. thank you very much for taking some time here thank to you. show us through everything. It's a pretty neat setup. Thank you very much. This is Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com.